Hello, this is Hedra back on YouTube with another uh, update and landscape video. This is the uh, bottom of uh, Skalafjörden, the beach and the village that I believe the locals call it Skalafjörden village as well, but uh, we only call it Skalabotner. Not sure which is correct. Anyway, um, what happened lately is um, I've been working on finding a tour manager and a general manager and some tour crew for, for the upcoming tours and that's been taking up uh, all my time. I've been doing some studio preparations as well. On the 19th, Tadeus and I will go to Jacob Hansen's studio and, uh, and start recording the drums. And we have four days set up for that. Um, something else I wanted to mention is, is uh, someone sent me an article this morning um, about the Norwegian uh, Winter Olympic ski team um, being uh, under fire for using the T rune on one of their jumpers. And um, of course it reminded me immediately of, of uh, 10 years ago we played in Germany once and, and um, an Antifa member oh, accused us online of, of being uh, Nazis because we used the, the T rune as you can see in our logo, um, uh, the T rune and, and uh, also the fact that we use Nordic mythology was apparently sufficient to, to make us Nazis and they tried to cancel our show. Uh, so fortunately it wasn't cancelled. As I remember, they had cancelled shows from some other bands before that, but by the time we got there, the, the promoters had um, figured out that it was empty threats. Uh, about the same, I think, is going to happen with, with the uh, anti-Willing uh, protests. Anyway, so, so the tea rune, of course, is, is a just a normal rune and it's no, nothing more than a letter in, in uh, only in runic and there, there's nothing more to it. Uh, if you have a symbol like like the swastika that might be a bit different it's like the first thing you, you learn about Nazis is, is probably that they use the swastika as, as their symbol and the first thing you think when you see a swastika is probably Nazi so symbols can be corrupted like that but the, when we made the band in 1998, I had no idea that the Nazis had used the tea rune for anything, so I was quite surprised when, when it came to that. And I think most people who are not uh, interested in, in Nazi history uh, actually have no idea that the Nazis used the rune. And for that reason, I think uh, the tea rune is uh, within uh, reach of, well, how shall I put it? It's, it's recoverable, uh, whereas the swastika may not be. Um, I remember also when we made the song, uh, The Shadow of the Swastika, uh, people in Germany, of course, told me if, if I mentioned the word swastika in a song, then my career would be over immediately. And I decided to do it anyway, and uh, nothing happened, like absolutely nothing. And uh, I think that just goes to show that some people are hypersensitive and, and have no clue how, how uh, well, have no feeling how the general public will react. And, Probably those are the kinds of people that complain about uh, runes on the jumper of a Norwegian Olympic ski team, and, and it's just uh, ridiculous. Uh, since I could mention, since we made that song, Shadow of the Swastika, we played in Israel twice, and I've never heard as many tasteless Nazi jokes as I did in Israel. So that also goes to show that people, Germans especially, need to calm the F down about things. Um, incidentally, I might mention that w when uh, this happened to us uh, in Germany about uh, 10 years ago, uh, I made a video statement about it together with Ville Sorvali from, from Moonsorrow, and it was the first vid uh, YouTube video I ever made, actually. It's not up on, on my channel anymore. I took it down. I didn't want to remind people about, about the issue constantly. Uh, I thought it was gone away and, and f well in our case it, it is mostly gone away. I haven't heard about it in, in years now. I was just reminded about it by this article about the Norwegian ski team. Um, the, the CEO of, of the company that makes this, these sweaters, uh, her name is Hilde Mitchell or, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it in Norwegian, uh, refuses to back down and I think that's the right thing to do. Um, and she mentions that the neo-Nazis, they may use these, uh, the tea rune symbol, but they also use the Norwegian flag. And are, are the Norwegians then going to stop using the flag as well? 
And that also reminds me of another thing that happened to, to me in Germany. We were on tour with uh, two bands. One of them was f from uh, Germany and one, I, I'm not sure I remember correctly, I think it was a Finnish band. And we played in a, a city in Germany. We had put our national flags in, in the front, front window of the bus and uh, like a German flag, a Ferris flag and a Finnish flag side by side. The neighbors of the venue complained about the German flag and asked us to take it down because it was a right-wing symbol for them. And uh, everyone's initial reaction was to bluntly refuse. But uh, for the sake of, of the uh, venue owner, who was a very nice chap, we did take it down uh, so he didn't get in trouble. But, and that was 10 years ago in Germany, so that's how far it can go. So it's, it's completely correct by, by uh, the people to stand behind this, this uh, Norwegian uh, and Nordic rune heritage and not back down from uh, silly claims like this that it's uh, particularly uh, Nazi. And uh, I would urge the Norwegian uh, ski team to definitely use the rune and wear a Twitter t-shirt while you're at it, okay? Anyway, let me calm back down. I suppose the scenery is calming in a way. If it wasn't so cold, I shouldn't say I'm going to get demonetized. I'm going to put a deed over that. Thing. So, yeah. What else have I been doing lately? Oh, my girlfriend came visiting. She's uh, freezing behind the camera right now. That's why my hands are free. <laughs> and, um, yep. That's it. Enjoy the scenery. See you next week.